Welcome to New Aquatics. This is Matthew Stigney. Thanks for coming back again. Today we are going to uh, give a small but short review of some new cichlid homes or pleco caves that we bought off a website called plecocaves.com. And uh, remember, if this uh, helps you out finding what you're looking for, make sure you subscribe and like. And let's get into the review. All right, so like I said, today we are going to be reviewing this website here. This is plecocaves.com you can see there plecocaves.com they get free shipping uh, to the United States over $75 and free shipping to Canada over 150 uh, you can see here these are some of the uh, products they offer they offer a ton of products um, even products that you can take home and paint yourself if you're into gnomes and stuff like that but but today um, we are going to be going over uh, a few products that we actually brought bought so as you'll see right here, these are the two products that we bought. This is actually a breeding egg. This right here is called a um, burrito cave. There you go, yeah, burrito cave. Now this is one of the colors that he offers here uh, for this. This is not, so let's go over what this is here. So let's take a look. So as you'll see here, the prices are even amazing. He only, uh, he only charges $7 for these breeding eggs. And here I am holding it in my hand so you can kind of get a general idea of how big it is. All right. All right. And here it is next to a measuring tape so you can see it's just over three inches long and about and, and roughly about three, almost three inches high. So it's not too bad in size at all. But yeah, so like I said, they offer it here and they, they only offer it in this one color here on the website and this is terracotta color so most people they enjoy that and they're okay with that I wanted something that was a little more dark so I can hide it in there so whenever I bought it I asked for him yeah so basically what I did I just asked him to make it black I said make it black similar to uh, this one here so this here the clay itself is a, a darker clay um, on this one so this right here is actually, like I said, called a burrito cave. The price itself also isn't too bad. The color that I got here, the color that I got was called dark chocolate, almost black. So on the other one in the notes after I bought it, I asked him to make the burrito caves a dark chocolate black. And he said he'd be able to do that no problem. Now the difference is that this came out really shiny black, which I'm okay with that. Um, I was more or less hoping for it to be more like that but this is okay as well and you can see it's only on the outside on the inside you'll see that it's still got the terracotta if this right here this black paint uh, was on the inside it'd be almost impossible for uh, the cichlids to actually deposit their eggs on the ceiling in here because they wouldn't stick very well now this right here this is pretty rough this also is pretty neat um, it actually kind of reminds me of an actual burrito and he's got his stamp right here that says pleco caves all right so this is pretty nice too you can see based on my thumb all right the hole is not too bad it's about an inch since my thumbs almost an inch wide uh, you'll see the holes about an inch in diameter maybe a little bit longer um, the height though is a little bit a little bit uh, shorter so this is roughly about two inches but the length is is a lot longer so so the length you'll see here is roughly about seven inches Height itself is just over two inches, so not too bad. These things are really well built. Um, this right here is really thick. I mean, this thing, I could probably drop it, but I don't want to. But, I mean, it is really, these are really sturdy filling. This one right here also feels pretty sturdy as well. It's a lot thinner, but that's okay as well. So let's take a look at what these look like in, in the tanks. So up here in this tank here, I actually have the burrito right there hard to see because I got it covered with leaves right there but you'll see there's the burrito it buries really well if you got a if you got a deep substrate the hole is right there all right I did that because I wanted to make sure that it was you know hidden for uh, you know the fish the cichlids that are going to be in here and they have a way they can see the hole on this side over here no problem all right so the hole is pretty much right there all right 
Well, I wanted to make sure that it was in there and it was covered up and it was like an underground cave for them. So that's what that looks like there in the aquarium. That's the, the burrito cave. All right, so let's take a look at the other over here in the 75. Again, really difficult to see. This is exactly what I was hoping. So back there in the back, the burrito, the burrito, uh, not the burrito, the um, breeding egg is actually right there. I'm going to have to shine a flashlight on it. You'll see it back there. All right, back there in the back. That is where that that is. So there's the there's the breeding egg back there. And as you can see with my dark black substrate, it, it is hidden really well back there, which gives the cichlids or the dwarf cichlids a sense of security. So, yeah, so I had the opportunity uh, to meet this gentleman at one of our cafe swaps here in Columbus. And he seems like a really nice guy. He's got, he had a huge table uh, full of ceramics there. He even had a giant koi fish on there that my wife really liked. But yeah, everything that he has looks like it's made really, really well. So if you're ever on the lookout for a alternative to coconut huts or the terracotta pots that you have, at, you know, that you buy at Lowe's and Home Depot and stuff like that, these are a these right here, these are a really good price. So the, the, the amount he charges for these is is really low compared to some of the ones that I've seen online. Some of the ones I've seen online for these types of things, for the you know the breeding egg, that type of thing, are like 15 bucks. So if you're looking for a really good cost, a uh, really good price for these types of caves and a huge variety of caves, then I, I'd say go and, go and check out his website there at uh, plecocaves.com. He's really responsive if you uh, reach out to him. He's responded to almost every email that I've sent. There's one that he didn't respond to, but he did send a tracking number almost instantly after that email, so I'm going to take that as his response. But yeah, so far price is great. Shipping was fast, and uh, we couldn't be more satisfied with the product we bought. So yeah. Make sure you check out plecocaves.com and thanks for coming to Noob Aquatics and enjoying this review. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to subscribe and like. See you again.